Hey y'all, I'm at the Alabama Classy and Sassy Glass Show. Let's go shop. Woo y'all, when I tell you I have got some of the best friends in this whole wide world that come from all over creation to set up at my show here in Anderson, Alabama. I have got some fantastic friends that bring some fantastic glass. I mean, we have got a little bit of everything and a whole lot of a lot. You talking about Fenton Palooza? We have got it. I'll uh, try to point out some of the amazing pieces that we've got here today. It's just unreal how much glass 10 people can bring. Look right here. Topaz, hen on the nest. It's so expensive, they don't even have it priced yet. You just don't see the Topaz. Oh, look at the dog. I love, 85 bucks. I love the Scotty dog mold. And I collect the squirrels and the lines you hardly ever see. And the horses are harder than doo-doo to find. Just look. Oh, Snowflake. <gasps> she also got that in a picture, but she said, no, I'm keeping it in a while. I was like, ah, I just wanted it, but you know, whatever. Mm. We just got done eating at the Julia's Mexican Grill. Had a good time with everybody tonight. Ebony Crest, that's a hard one to find. That one was done for the gift shop, I believe. There's a really nice piece of coral overlay. That's a beautiful piece. Look, we've got a pair of the woodland lamps by Louise Pepper. Uh uh uh. These are a couple of the pieces we picked up while we were in Kansas City. Those were Kansas City exclusives this year. Look there, there's the Crystal Crest. E pern, single horn E pern. Good, good piece to find there. Oh, here's a really nice piece of honeycomb. $95. Look. All right. This is one of them educational moments. This is goldenrod. Very hard to find. You can find its counterpart yellow overlay but do you see how much brighter of a yellow that is it's like a sunshine yellow whereas goldenrod i really can't even describe it it's more like a honey mustard yellow it's got a i can't even describe them because they really look the same in this video but if you ever get them side by side they look totally different and that's what I'm afraid of. I'll be like, oh, look, I found. <gasps> okay, so here's something. Sorry, squirrel. You don't hardly ever see the hen on the nest egg dishes. Oh, that's fantastic. 125 as is. It has been broken, repaired, and we're still asking 125 for it. That's how hard they are to find. This is a really odd bridesmaid. I don't know what kind of slag that is. Maybe somebody can tell me in the comments. That is a really odd like a blueberry slag? I don't know. That's a pretty color though. Bridesmaid satinized. Let's see what else we got down through here. This flame crest tidbit tray is whoo! 545. That's a good good piece. We got Viking up here. Swung vases. $2.95 on that monster swung vase. That's beautiful. Let's go on around here. Bittersweet. Everybody's loving the bittersweet. I love that big volcano vase back there. Love it, love it. Got lots more Viking. Lots more Viking. 
Astoria heirloom. That's gorgeous. I do love that. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. This is Mr. Rogers booth. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. A beautiful day for a neighbor. He's got lots of, he's got a whole critter. He's gonna have to get some fences for his critters. He's got too many. Beautiful set of moon, moon and stars. I almost called that moonstone. It is absolutely not. That is moon and stars. Here's some beautiful iris and herringbone. He's got some really good pieces of this. I've never seen these little demitasse little bitty fellers. Those are cute, $38 each. He's got some beautiful carnival glass and depression glass. And then he's got his fountain over here. Uh, 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 uh. Cambridge over there. Look at this Favorine. Mm, mm, mm. Favorine to me is just like one of the most beautiful things that Fenton ever did. And he's got, I love this face. One of these days I'm going to own it. I just ain't pulled the trigger on one yet. Four Seasons vases. Don't see the Fern and Daisy decanter much. That's a oddity. There's a good piece for a painter to paint. Beautiful, beautiful. I actually like the fact that he brought some hobs, cranberry. So the way you can tell that, do you see how pointy the hobs are versus how nice and round? But yet, these are still more pointy than others, but these are like super pointy. He's brought some beautiful lamps. He's brought beautiful Burmese, Lotus Mist. Burmese. He's brought some blue Burmese. Oh man, look at that killer Emerald Crest Epern. That's awesome. Oh, look at this. I really like this vase right here. That one may have to go home with me. I really, I collect that shape and I don't have one with that design on it. Mm -mm -mm. Mr. Roger brought some great stuff. Great, great stuff. Here's what he really shined at though is the Fostoria. Look at this, 20 inch, hard to find Fostoria plate, 195. But I mean, y'all, you don't see most of this. I mean, I've never seen, uh, what piece was that? Oh, this box, box with legs, 370. I mean, I've just never seen it was that piece. What was the other one? Oh, this swung base. 19 inch swung base in American. These jade ones are English, he says. Um, which was the other piece that I was like, uh huh. I think it was. Oh, the pickle jar. Yeah. $2.95. You know, we'll walk around here and look at John's stuff. He ain't nowhere close to done, I don't think, but he's got Boo Coodles of Heirloom. He brought Cambridge, Fenton. He brought, he always does a pretty good job of color coordinating his stuff. Let me zoom out a little bit, there we go. He, uh, he loves his covered animals. Bring some good ones of those. There's a rare piece. If you ever find that in French opalescent or in blue opalescent hobnail, you're talking about some money, 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 money. Like talking 300 bucks. Look at the slag critters on the nest. Mm. Candlewick. 
this is what I love right here. I told him, I said, you put my name on that when you die, if you don't sell it between now and then. I love this, 975. It's a punch bowl, actually. Here's a really rare piece that he's got $1,200 on as a dot and miter um, pitcher. Got some King's Crown. This is another really rare piece. Rare, I try not to use that word, it's scarce. He's had a couple of them, so it's just scarce. Many of the Fenton experts debate over whether something is rare or scarce. Some say it's gotta be 10 or less for it to be rare. Anything more than that, there's probably one in each state and I'm still thinking, oh my gosh, even if there is still one in each state, how will you ever see one if it never hits the market? But that's what they argue about. That's a beautiful topaz picture, boy. Uh, uh, uh. He's got a lot of Canaan Valley. Excuse me, Canaan Valley. Depends on where you're from and if you read your Bible, I guess. They say the biblical term, Canaan, or Canaan Valley, and then they say Canaan Valley up there. It's West Virginia. Got more moon and stars, old glass. He's got a bunch of this stuff now. I don't know what most of this is. Uh, looks like some new Martinsville animals. I don't have a clue what this is. Probably Cambridge or Fostoria one of the two. Yeah, anytime you find a little square dish like that, pew! In Fostoria, little squares are worth a mint. Worth a mint. Let's see what he's got on the front up here. Looks like he's got some Blinko or Rainbow or something. And then he's got Crackle Glass and a bunch of odd ends up here. I don't even know. I love this elephant decanter. I have no idea who made that, but it is freaking awesome. And I love it. I'm gonna tell you, that's what I want for Christmas. I think it just screams Roll Tide and it's awesome. Oh, here's some nice swung vases. We all tried to bring good swung vases this year, I think. Walk over here and see. This is Mr. Steve and Miss Rita's booth. They always bring some beautiful old glass now they really love the old glass they've got carnival they've got um northwood they've got fenton they've got uh who else made dugan i guess maybe probably some dugan in this carnival glass these are nice a little tumble up or no sorry guest sets these are tumble ups because they have the glass on the top. This is a guest set when it pours out. So those are some really nice guest sets. There's some uh, really nice fishes. Oh God, look how good that shows up on that bowl. They've got lots of really good, and I bet most of this will glow. You'd be surprised how much carnival glass would glow. That's the ice carnival. Ooh, pretty, pretty. They love stretch glass. But right here, look at this. I told them, I said, the way y'all have that lined up, it looks like the whole thing slanted down. It's crazy, because, they I mean, it's literally just a half inch, if that, between them. But it's just like, nearp. So they brought in some fantastic, look here, y'all. Fire King J. Dot 120 for that butter dish. That is a deal and a half for a J. Dot Fire King butter dish. So hard to find. Beautiful stretch glass. Here's some, I know there's some Tiffin in that. 
And the way you can tell Tiffin from everybody else's stretch is it is smooth as a baby's butt. I'm telling you. These little lemon servers and all that stuff. There's some Northwood up here. For sure. I love this picture. Love it, love it. Here's some lamps and trees. I've got a whole forest of trees and bells and angels and looks like a very nice nativity set. Very nice nativity set. Snowmen. Those are awesome. Sandy Claus. So they made four different Santa Clauses. They've got the one with the kitten, the one with the list. They've got the kneeling Santa Claus, which he doesn't have. And they also have the one that holds the stocking. Got lots of snowmen, lots of, look at all the Christmas animals. Beautiful. That's a really neat pattern I've never seen before. And that would be on custard. That's from the seventies. That's a really unusual pattern. How much is that? 75, that's not bad at all. Got some Lalik, or Bullik. Just kitty cats, Bullik. Yeah. <laughs> Kinda looks like he's like, what's up, dude? <laughs> like he might've hit some wacky weed before he, I shouldn't say that on the internet, y'all, I'm sorry. Little squirrels, foxes. Here's a, an amazing piece. This is a sample dot optic lotus mist spittoon. Not going to see many of these. This was a sample, like a color treatment sample. 750 bucks. Find another one. They're out there. There's a few of them out there, but not many. Now this is a very odd mold. I don't see this chicken mold very often at all. Very hard to find and she, crap, she's got two of them. I've actually never seen that one. I've seen it in that. But that's a very hard mold to find if you're a hen on the nest collector. Look at the amber snow crest. Wow. That's a good one. That is a good one. Lots of amazing Fenton here at this show, y'all. I'm telling you, I said it earlier, but I really do. I have the best friends that come out and do this with me. I've got alley cats, guest sets galore. So here's Max's booth. The Max Iverson, if you know who I'm talking about. He's got all manner of good glass. Chinese yellow, which is hard to find, even in the flip vase. Oh. Got some lilac. That's a good old, old, old color, 1920s. Ballerinas are hard to find. Probably because they had a problem keeping them standing up. Here's some really cute critters. My wife was particularly fond of this little... Uh, he's on down. Yeah, he's on down. I'll show him to you in a minute. But I was going to tell you about the... I said about the stocking Santas. There they are with the stocking. Those are not easy to find. The other ones are... Loads easier to find than those. Got a lot of, ooh, purple slag koi fish. What's he got on that? 150, yes he does. He knows what he's got there. Of course, Max knows more than I, I mean, he's forgotten more than I know. That is okay. My wife loved this. She got the biggest kick out of this because he was, he's got a pot of gold on his butt. 
follow the rainbow to his butt. That's what she was laughing about earlier. Oh, love the alley cats. I used to not, and they grew on me, and it's terrible. Wish they hadn't, but they did. Now I've got a small collection of them. Oh, me. These are amazing pieces right here. These are crackle. Uh, fantastic pieces. Can't believe he's got that many of them, be honest with you. So hard to find. Fenton didn't make many of them in the 80s and they flopped and nobody wanted it. Now I'm gonna show you Ann and John Fenton's booth. They brought a, the everything but the kitchen sink and we, she told me, she said, I need your help. Just do something to these tables. So I color coordinated them. So I wanna be sure to show y'all these. These are amazing examples of optics. So we got the spiral optic and the hard optic and coin dot. Those are fantastic examples. This is a logo that they altered, isn't that cool? It's just where John reheated it and clipped it with some Clipped it with some pinchers and twisted it around, and that's a one of a kind. Here is, this is called Rose Magnolia. It is a gorgeous color. I mean, I love this color because it's really like a hot pink. And as you can see, compared to Cranberry, it's got a more of a purple tint. Oh, it's so pretty. It's darker than Dusty Rose. It's just a really pretty color. Here's a million dollar lamp. And by million dollars, I mean, she'd really just take 2,500, but Edna the Song Sparrow lamp, just gorgeous. And there's the tie-dye kitty cats. She's got a lot of gorgeous Burmese. Look at the sand carved. Wow. Loads of beautiful critters. I love these are some things she's been doing. She's been tie-dyeing critters. 150. She's got a couple of mallards, couple of, I love the Santa she did and the ghosts. Look at that Burmese lamp. Uh-uh-uh. I love putting topaz and cobalt together. Doesn't that just look striking, y'all? It goes so pretty together. Got the red, blue, more topaz. And a ton of swim faces. I'm telling y'all, we are, we are swung out here. I'm telling you. Oh, got some Day Fetty pieces here. Very nice. That back here is the only piece of John Fenton glass they brought with them, and I could have kicked them. I thought, this is the John Fenton show, and they didn't bring but one piece of John Fenton's to show. So maybe I can talk him into making a few pieces tomorrow or Saturday. We'll see. Okay, y'all, here's the moment you didn't know you were waiting for. Mr. Justin Peters has brought me 300 pieces of Pyrex out of his own personal collection. We're talking, I have no earthly idea what some of these patterns are. I have never in my life seen them. You're talking about some of the crazy, coolest patterns. Snowflake. I mean, when I've never seen them. And I've got them here at the Alabama Classy and Sassy Glass Show. It blows my mind. Look down there, that pine cone. I gotta get a better shot at that. I've never seen it. It's a Christmas pattern. Isn't that awesome? Snowflake. I mean, 
a lot of these are probably promos. If I had to guess, I know he's got a couple promos at least. I mean, it's just absolutely amazing to me. I've never seen this much in one place. Y'all let me know. But it's just stunning. Absolutely. I mean, like this one. He's got 25 bucks on it, but I've never seen that pattern. It's got a small chipperoni on the edge there, but I've never seen that pattern. Look here. I've never seen that pattern. I mean, yeah, sure, we've got some of the more common stuff, but we've got stuff you've never seen, I guarantee it. Never seen. Look at all those little refrigerator sets. Gooseberry. Look at that set. 65, never seen it. Grapes, never seen it. Look at this with the lobster on it. I love that one. That one is really cool, 40 bucks. He's got, look at all this Viking. And Ellie Smith. Law, have mercy. Beautiful, look at all that. And just simply putting some Christmas lights in amongst them. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. 675 on that big behemoth. That's the one I've been advertising for a while. I love this set back here that he's got raspberries on it, Burmese. Beautiful. I don't know what that is back there in the back. <gasps> Uh -huh. That's, I love that pattern. And that blue on that, that is, wow. Uh, 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 uh. Got some Blinko. Look, he brought shiny brights and these. He called it, uh, I call it splatterware, Texas wear, whatever it is. Really cool. These are really popular. And got tons of shiny brights by Christopher Radko. He's got some vintage ones. So cool. This is fused glass. He was telling me about the artist. Yes, they're naked. I'm trying not to zoom in on them. I don't want none of y'all thinking bad things. You nasties. But I mean, just look at the booth as a whole. Is that not one of the most beautiful booths you've ever seen in your life? If you tell me you're not, it ain't your line. Here is some more fantastic glass from my friend Ron Halbrooks. He brought some really nice stuff too. Look at the Viking duck. Everybody loves those ducks. This was a really cool big piece of blanco a couple of swung bases this is a really nice piece of row pottery i've never seen any row like that before but it's marked right there sure is beautiful milk glass punch bowl i have one of these in ice blue it is gorgeous i love it I think this is a really cool set. I don't know much about it, but lots of beautiful hobnail milk glass, some nice cut to clear, really, really pretty. Some awesome genie bottles. Love the Gone with the Wind lamp. This Mirano Christmas tree, some nice Waterford crystal. Beautiful, beautiful. This is Miss Wendy Cantiotti's booth. Hope I pronounced her name right. Love all these little kitty cats. They're super cute. She's got 
that Imperial Poppy Show Vase. Beautiful lamp. Dot object pictures are hard to find. Rosalines. Look at all that purple eggplant. Monster trees, mulberry, lotus mist. Oh, that's a good one to find. Spanish lace optic. It's a good um, New World decanter. These are not easy to find. These are actually Fenton, but you don't see them. And those are paying Melinda Fleming. Cool. But you don't see these very often at all. They, I don't reckon they did it very often, but you just don't see them out and about. She did a really good job displaying her stuff, putting her stuff together, but the blues together and all that sort of stuff. She did a good job. Did a good job. Here's Brandon and John's booth. John Anthony, we got two, two uh, Johns here at this show. I thought this was really unusual. You don't see a see that bowl hardly ever. I love the big, huge pilgrim vase. Fenton did some pink. Astoria, that's a great piece to find. Woo! I love that. Love that. Might send that to my friend, see if she wants it. Hey, April. Uh, this is a really cool owl that everybody's been talking about. It's Murano. Everybody and their mom has asked about it 14 times. So they brought some, look at those beautiful lamps. I love the baskets and I love this piece because it's like, I'm pretty sure it's QVC. That's a nice piece, Daisy and Fern with the lavender crest. He's got some fantastic pieces of coin dot. He's got some apple blossom, flame crest. Blue hobnail. This blue, believe it or not, I ain't a fan of bells, but blue hobnail, the bell is actually pretty hard to find. I love this pat. This it's the fern and daisy and the hot pink, or I guess that yeah, <laughs> it's probably dusty rose. I think with a teal crest, oh, gorgeous, love it. I've got one that didn't satin. That's a hard to emerald crest is hard to find. He had a emerald crest cake plate yesterday. It disappeared. Well, thank y'all for watching. I hope you saw something beautiful. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching my video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you again soon.